This is the gear that you want to use when you do any type of raid, and this is the race that is most optimal for doing raids. So if you want to know all of these things and much more so you can complete any raid easily and very fast make sure to watch till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. And if you want a shout out in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments your most enjoyable raid that you do for fragments. So whenever we talk about some kind of combat in blocks fruits there is no way we can skip fruits. Why is that so? Well that's because fruits are your main weapon in this game and they determine what type of buffs you will have and how you will be in combat. So you should pick them with extra caution. But which one is the best for raids? Well since in the raids you gotta have both attack and defense you should use a good balanced fruit. So we can speculate about using dough, venom or dark, most players use these and they are very good. But if you really want to get the job done the best fruit for raids is the Buddha. Why? Well if you don't already know Buddha is the tankiest fruit out of all of them and that is really up in the raids. You get so much health it's really hard for enemies to defeat you. But how to get it fast? Well in my opinion it's best to wait a few days and buy it from stock. It costs only 1.2 million Peli and there is 5% chance to find it in stock. So it shouldn't take you long. But that's for the defense. What about attack? Well when you transform into Buddha form you can use any fighting style or sword you want. So let's get into that. If you max your sword stat you can use a couple of different swords for raids. But what makes a sword good for raid? Well of course it needs to have decent damage, far range, little to no knockback and fast M1S. So what swords are like that? Well of course we have the cursed dual katana. This sword, actually two swords but it's one sword, is really insane but the only downside is that it's limited for the third C and it's very hard to get. But if you want to know how to get it step by step check this video out. This sword really has great potential and can get you through any raid you desire. But also, the two swords that make this curse dual katana, Yama and Tushita are both really good in raids. You can also find their obtainment guide here. But what if you're not in the third C? Then your best option is the Saber V2. And don't get me wrong, Saber V2 is a really insane sword with the highest damage out of all swords, so don't underestimate it. You can get it by completing the Shanks puzzle. But that's Saber V1. In order to evolve it to V2 you have to reach 1 million bounty slash honor and kill a player with similar level to you. But what if you don't want to use swords, then you should aim for a good fighting style. So let's get into that. Again we have a couple of different options depending on your abilities, and the first one is obviously the god human. It's the hardest fighting style so it has to be really good. It has large hitbox, fast attacks, decent damage and so on. But of course the downside is that it's really hard to get, check here if you want to know how. And if you really can't manage to get god human then the superhuman will work just as fine. But you won't be as cool though. But also we have another really good alternative. And that's shark man karate. It's the V2 version of the water kung fu. And it's so good at grinding normal enemies. Why? Well it has so fast M1 attacks which deal a lot of damage that are super easy to hit. And apart from that it has high combo potential and its combos are really hard to escape. So it's perfect for grinding enemies just like you have to do in raids. Now one last thing before race and accessories we have to mention is the gun. And from my experience, I did a lot of raids, the question is actually do you even need a gun in a raid? And let me tell you, you don't. And that is because the gun is used mostly in PvP where you need some quick move to stun your enemy so you can connect two attacks. And we don't have that big threat in raids, so now that we know that you don't need a gun let's get to races. In Blocks Fruits we have 6 races that have different buffs and abilities. But which one is the best for raids? Well let me not waste any time and tell you straight away. In my opinion it's cool. Why? Well apart from the speed boost at night and visual changes this race has something other races don't have. And that's the life leech. It lets you regenerate faster because when you hit an enemy you gain some health instantly. And when you're in Buddha form that health regen is huge. So if you keep hitting enemies you will basically be immortal. I used this strategy for a long time and it didn't fail me even once. So I can surely say I speak from experience. But if you want to use some alternatives shark and human can be good. But only if you evolve them all the way to v4. But what about accessories? Well I have a few particular accessories that were very good in my raid so let's get into that. Again the best accessory for raids would be the one that gives life leech. And that's the ghoul mask. Here are all the buffs. As you can see we got some energy and movement speed as well. But how to get it? You can get it at the cursed ship from the El Paro NPC and it costs only 50 ectoplasm. But what about other accessories? Well I find swan glasses and bandana really good for raids. 
And that's because of their buffs as you can see. So yeah. Using these tips and recommendations that I gave you I defeated the Buddha raid very easily. And most importantly solo. So don't tell me it's impossible. If you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that I should make more useful content. Join our Roblox group, link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you soon.